Hey everyone, welcome back to the Microwave Lab. This is going to be a video about adding a fan to my CB radio. This unit in Bearcat 980 uh, it gets a little bit warm when I'm using it. Maybe that's maybe that's some of the components I replaced, or maybe that's just the way it is, and and that's uh, that's what it does. But um, even stock, I I'm, it wasn't really not really sure what it ran like uh, in its stock form. But I, I've done a little bit of uh, tuning. Nothing. I haven't really turned up the power at all, but. Uh, still a 4 watt swinging 16 but uh, anyway the, some of the components get warm so uh, I wanted to add a fan on the inside to hopefully improve the longevity and and keep them cool so the first the first thing you're gonna want to do is find a 12 volt source of power or uh, rail power in inside your radio now the easy way to do this would just to be uh, connected to uh, the power uh, rails on it well I don't have the radio open right now but the power rail on the inside exactly right where the main power comes into the radio uh, but then it'll still be powered even if the radio is off and there's power uh, connected to it like in your car or whatever uh, so if if you have it on a line that's not on when your car isn't running then that's fine but uh, I have it on I have it wired directly to the battery which is how it should be for best noise suppression um, so we need a way to only turn it on turn the fan on when the radio is on now you could add a toggle switch to the side of the radio or uh, you know put put it in somewhere but uh, I wanted to uh, poke around inside the radio and find a, ra uh, a voltage rail that was on only when the radio was on. So the, f the, first, the uh, where I started and where I where I found it was these two pins here that are connected to the uh, the, the power sw switch dial, I guess. And um, so the first thing I did was I found ground, and what we're gonna do is use the multimeter. I'll set it to uh, where am I? Oh no, I need ohms. Yeah. Uh, okay. And there's a continuity check. So I need the probe. Where's the probe? Oh, here's, here's the probe. Yeah, so I've got one lead connected to ground, and we have beeping when uh, when we find ground. And so this one one uh, one wire I soldered to is ground, and you can see it's connected. And you can you can probe all of them if you want to. If you're checking on your radio, you can see some of them are connected and some aren't. Uh, most of them are. And then uh, this this rail right here is the um, is 12 volts that pops on when when the radio is on. So I'm going to switch over to. DC volts, and you can see here it's uh, we got a little bit 0.2 volts. Okay, it's it's oops, a little bit of glare. Okay, uh, it's it's falling though, so that means there's just capacitors discharging inside the radio because it was just on. Uh, so we'll we'll measure that pin again. We'll turn the radio on, and we're on. And then we're gonna measure measure that pin right there with the probe, and we've got 13 point some odd volts, which is our geez that light is terrible there it is 13 point some odd volts which is our supply just about our supply voltage a little bit low uh, and so that's that's it for finding power you gotta just poke around in your radio a little bit you know flip it on and off and see uh, see where your power is uh, that's switched and so uh, I'm gonna get the fan set up here we're gonna do um, do a little bit with the fan and then we'll uh, we're gonna do a little bit of noise suppression on the fan with some inductors and then we'll uh, we'll go from there so here's the fan it's running. Uh, it's about a 40 millimeter PC fan, nothing uh, brushless DC fan, nothing crazy. Yeah, I picked up a bunch of them a few years ago for about 99 cents each, and they've just been laying around. So that's why I'm using it for this project. And right now I've got this connected to 14 and a half volts, which is about where my car idles when it's on the voltage anyway. And we're pulling about 130 milliamps. No big deal. And uh, we um, we're gonna we have the, I have the supply hooked up and I also have the oscilloscope connected. So if you look at the oscilloscope, we have a little bit of noise being fed back into the into the circuitry, which obviously we don't want for the radio. So I don't know what this artifact is in the in the measurement. If I if I'm zooming in shorter time scale, you know there's something there's something going on. But if I zoom out, it kind of kind of collapses and disappears. But uh, we're gonna remember the time scale. I think it was four, yeah, 400 nanoseconds. We have a pretty good look at it. So we're gonna add. Uh, I have these inductors pre-soldered onto here, just uh, for convenience of making the video. But I'm just gonna switch the. Uh, we're not. They're not being used right now. So I'm just gonna switch the. Uh, switch the leads around a little bit, and uh, we're gonna see how that affects the noise. So here's the fan connected through the inductors now, and we're, we're measuring um, the on the scope on the supply side of the inductor, not on the fan side, so we can see how much noise is being fed back into the. Uh, into the power system and we'll come up to the scope again and we have our same time scale 400 nanoseconds where we had a pretty good look at that that noise blip earlier and you can see we got a uh, pretty flat line going on here so I'm just gonna run through the time scale a little bit in both directions so I'm zooming smaller now for higher frequency looks good and zoom back out and slow down nothing uh, 
Nothing suspicious going on here. We'll just go back to uh, at 400 nanoseconds. We'll take another look. There it is. And it's still looking good. So that's that's all for the for the noise suppression. Pretty pretty simple to add those those inductors. These were left over from that uh, input power noise suppression mod I did. So um, I'm gonna. This was mainly the crux of the video. Was the electrical side of it. Uh, obviously, mounting in your uh, in your radio will be different for every every radio. So I'll just show I'll show what I did at the end. And uh, but I'm not really gonna go through a step by step. It's kind of just. Uh, toss it in there and mount it somehow. So I'll, I'll show the final product, but uh, I won't go through the details of my specific radio. So here's a little midpoint update on the fan mounting. I've got the, the ICs. I, there are three ICs over here I want to have the air blowing on. So uh, I have the fan mounted on a piece of, it's not FR4, it's a little bit softer, but a copper backboard. Not necessary, it's just a little substrate to mount it to with some nylon fasteners and uh, uh, spacers, nylon's not necessary, it's just what I have laying around over here with the with the spacers. Um, and so my plan is to mount this on the, this is actually the bottom, so the radio's flipped over. Oops, I'm a little, a little shaky right now. Um, the radio's actually flipped over right now, so this is the bottom. And I'll have this, the fan oriented so that the air will be blowing upwards. Um, and the, so the whole thing is, this is going to sort of pancake over like that but the whole thing will be inverted so the air this will actually be sitting down like this and the radio will go over the top of it if that makes any sense but um yeah so that's kind of how i've it mounted but my plan is to just glue this or t you know secure this into the bait you know the cover here like that and then uh, that way i have access with these um there's just screw the nylon screws going through i can i have access to take these nuts off and then take the fan out if i need to uh so right now all i'm gonna do is i'm just trying to dry fit this in uh, I'll probably tape it in place or something so I can put the cover on here and make sure I have clearance and it's uh, you know it's where I want it so that's uh, that's where I am right now. So here's the finished product of the fan mounted here. I've got the little piece of uh, excuse me a second there we go um, <laughs> lanyard on the camera was dangling. Um, so I've got the <clears throat> got the fan mounted on the little piece of board here and I've actually got it angled a little bit. These with the nylon fasteners I just heated them up a little bit and bent them at the base um, to give it a little bit of angle so I move so I can move it a little farther away from the edge to get it away from the um, the IC bank here and uh, yeah that was that was uh, about it and this adhesive here is like it comes in a like a big sheet and uh, it's like a like a thick glue and I don't think it, it doesn't solidify it's just uh, it just has like wax paper on both sides peel it apart and stick stuff to it and it's really sticky so that's what I'm using to to mount this here uh, and just off the top of my head I was thinking uh, using nylon fasteners is good because if this ever fell off and uh, touched something in here it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't have any shorts and so for the inductors I just uh, I had this other piece of FR4 board on here from a separate uh, project I was trying to do and uh, so I just super glued these upside down on here uh, to uh, keep them out of, way, out of the way and uh, the power wires I'm just gonna leave kind of long like this just so um, because obviously I don't have a plug on here to take this completely off if I wanted to the speaker is unplugged but I wanted to leave some extra slack here so I can take this and move it out of the way if I want to for working on the radio um, and that's about it the only thing I might do is I might trim down these on the loose ends of these uh, fasteners here that's about it um, yeah so we'll just do a little test I've got the power supply hooked up and we'll get the radio uh, get the radio turned on the fan Starts up. I already closed it up and listened to it, and it just sounds like a low hum. There's nothing, uh, nothing weird going on, and the, the airflow is pretty darn good. It'll. I mean, anything's an improvement with uh, with cooling over just the passive passive cooling we had going on over here. Uh, and so that's. Uh, is it speeding up? Yeah, it feels uh feels like it's moving a good bit of air. And uh, I mean, this isn't ideal. We've got a confined space, no heat sink, no inflow and outflow. It's kind of a cooling nightmare, but uh, you know, it's better than it's better than nothing. And uh, nothing, nothing weird going on with the, uh, with the on the radio end. Nothing, no extra noise in the uh, speaker, which is good. That means our noise suppression worked well, or maybe it wasn't necessary, but uh, it was just a, a good, good addition to make it a little more uh, robust. And uh, radio still sounds good. Nothing, uh, nothing weird coming out of the speaker. A little vibration with these plastic cases here, so there might be some, some weird uh, noise going on. But uh, yeah, that's all. Uh, that's about all for now. Radio sounds good, fan sounds good, and we'll uh, we'll be running a little bit cooler now. So that's that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.